there it's Liz. Welcome to a slightly different format for Simple Stamping Saturday. My computer has decided it's having a bit of a blip. So um, I just wanted to make sure that I got this recorded ahead of time. So I'm using my phone. So this could be interesting. Anyway, let me flip the camera down. So today I'm using the Sending Cheer bundle, which is the stamp set. And I had them just now matching dies. So the dies come with a stocking, a Santa hat. Uh, there's fur for the Santa hat. There's a present. Um, there's a gingerbread man. There's a tag, all sorts of goodies. Um, those are holly leaves, the bits to go on the stocking to make it more stocking like. <coughs> Excuse me. And a couple of other tags. So a really great bundle. Um, I have used it before, but not for some time. So for Simple Stamping Saturday today, I have got this little card, which is the gingerbread man. I've stamped the face on him. I put sending cheer because that is the most cheerful um, gingerbread man you could imagine. And then because it's Simple Stamping Saturday, I have stamped on the envelope as well. So let me show you just how simple it is. As ever, I'm starting with one of our standard note cards and envelopes. And on this occasion, I'm using basic white. So the first thing I'm going to do is ink up my gingerbread man with pecan pie. So let's ink him up and I'm just going to pop him down. There's the score line. So I'm just going to stamp him down. Now, I do need to make sure that that is well and truly dry before I stamp his face. Otherwise, his face will kind of disappear um, and become paler. It's a lot, as you can see, before it dries, the ink is a lot darker. So we need this to, to dry out before we stamp the face on. But we've got other things we need to do. So I've got the sending cheer. So let's ink that up. That's just going down in the bottom right hand corner there. And then we need to stamp the envelope. So let me bring in a piece of scrap paper, turn my envelope over, and I'm just going to ink up the top of my stamp and then stamp it at a bit of an angle. So we've got a jaunty little gingerbread man in the bottom corner. Again, I need to that, leave that to dry, but that's fine. I'm not going to need my pecan pie ink anymore. So let's pop that to one side. This is nearly dry, so good enough to pop the face on. And the face is just this beautiful little couple of eyes and a really beautiful little smile. So let's just stamp that down. And we've got our jolly little gingerbread man. And while we're at it, let's do the one on the envelope as well, like that. So really cute, really fun. Um, I would be very happy to receive a card with a gingerbread man on. Why wouldn't I be? It's just so jolly. So let me fold my card, grab my bone folder. I will put the bone folder on the list of products that I've used and you can find that both below this video in the description bar but also over on my website. There'll be a link to my website in the description bar and you can go straight over there see close-up photographs of this and also of the stepped up versions and a bit more information about those plus the full product list. So stepped up versions and again, I had these carefully put to one side and I've buried them. So my first stepped up version is this. So we've got our gingerbread man again. I've added some of the black and white. This is not the black and vanilla. This is the original black and white ribbon, which I've just tied around my um, layer there. I've still got the sending cheer. I've added some of the loose, um, loose holly gems and sequins, which you get so many. So you've got holly leaves, you've got musical notes, and then you've got these 
little gems, little red gems. And I've just stuck those on with um, the fine tipped glue. Really simple, it dries really quickly. It's just perfect for this. So that's this version uh, on a black mat. So, oh, and this is Poppy Parade. So that's my first stepped up version. And my second stepped up version is this. So again, I've stamped my gingerbread man. I've die cut him this time with the die that comes with the set and just trimmed the tag off the top because it does come with a little bit for to turn it into a tag. So it's got this bit here. So I just trimmed that off and I used the waste from this piece of basic white, which I've cut to a Polaroid shape just using the largest of the um, stylish shapes, which is a really great set. So you've got squares, circles and then um, labels. And I use the largest of the squares to make my Polaroid. And again, I've just added some of those gems down the middle with the multi-purpose liquid glue. I've got my sending cheer here. I've got the same black and white ribbon, but I've coloured it with the dark Poppy Parade blend um, and added some of the Merry Bold and Bright paper behind. Black layer. So there we go. Those are my three projects. I've also made these, which are for my uh, customers who shopped with me last month. And it's some gingerbread and clove uh, tea lights in a little box that just slides in and out. And I've used the same gingerbread man. And this time I've used the uh, enamel effects basics. And I used the first set. So it's the one with the black, red and white. The white actually has gone a little bit gold because it's taken the ink from the pecan pie. But really cute. And you can see there that it's a tag. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that very quick video from me today. Do hop over to my website. These uh, will also be featuring on my Instagram feed today because I'm part of an Instagram hop. And this is what I am using for that. So lots of places to you to find it. Thank you very much indeed for watching today. Sorry about the slightly different format. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up is always appreciated. And I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.